I demanded water here. Aquafina, where is my Aquafina? Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, CI. I'm Anthony. And I'm Christian. And these are your news and announcements for today, Wednesday, October 5th, 2016. News announcements and activities. Attention seniors, college ac application sessions are about to begin. Make sure to prepare and plan accordingly. Interested in getting registered to vote in the upcoming election? <laughs> Go see Mrs. Morgan in the front office. This Friday at lunch, Digital Art Club has its first meeting of the year in Room 43. There will be a meeting for French Club today during lunch. It will be in Madame de Broska's room, room 22. So those who are interested or returning, please join us. 10th grade ASB will be having a meeting in room 99 at lunch tomorrow, Thursday, October 6. Now we go to Deputy District Attorney for Ventura County, Mr. Gene Kinsey. Good morning. My name is Gene Kinsey. I'm a Deputy District Attorney for the County of Ventura. What I get paid to do is to enforce the law, and they've been invited me here today to talk to you about attendance. In California, you are required from age six until you turn 18 or graduate to be in school every class, every day. Now, the state realizes there are times when you're not always going to be here, so they have created legal excuses for your absence. If you are sick, you have a doctor or dentist appointment, you have to go to court, you have a funeral in the family. Those are all legitimate excuses. However, there is one clause that says you must turn in that excuse within three days. What that means is, if you have a doctor appointment, you're marked absent. You have three days to bring the doctor note in to show that you had a legitimate reason for not being here. If you don't do that, even though you know it was a legitimate absence, the school doesn't know. So it goes down as a truancy. So what is truancy? Truancy is missing 30 minutes or more of an individual period, or you miss a day of school. If you have three or more, the state considers you to be a chronic truant. Now the school will help you to avoid that. Every day that you miss even part of a period, there will be a phone call to your home letting your parents know that you were out of class for at least part of a period. That reminds them that they need to send in a note if you were in fact sick or you went to the doctor or the dentist, whatever. Now, what happens if that doesn't take place? If you have three or more absences, the school will then send a letter to your house reminding your parents that attendance is mandatory in the state of California. If you continue to miss, they will send a second letter. If you continue to miss beyond that, there will be a third letter and a parent conference. If you get beyond that point, you get to see me. You will have to meet with me, with your parents, and explain to me why you have not been in school and if you had a legitimate reason, why you did not turn that reason in to the school. We will then decide what to do. You may get another chance, you may not. If you get a ticket, which either you or your parents could get, then you have to go to court. What does that mean? That means you will get a ticket from a police officer for truancy. Your parents can get a ticket from an officer for truancy. You will get a letter in the mail telling you when to show up in court. Truancy court is always on a Friday afternoon at 1.30. It's my courtroom. You will have to come in and see the judge. For a student, the first time you go to court, you will have a choice. You can pay a $50 fine within 30 days, or you can do 20 community service hours within 60 days. What happens if you fail to go to court, or you go to court and don't pay your fine or don't do your hours? The judge will put a permanent hold on your ability to get a driver's license. That happens. Every Friday, I have someone who is in their 20s coming in to tell the judge, I'm sorry, I missed a court date or I didn't pay my fine, but now I have a job, now I have a family, I need a driver's license. What the judge will say is, pay your fine or do your hours, then you will get your license. 
So that opportunity is always there. It just may take you a while to realize that. If you get a second truancy ticket, you will not have an option of paying a fine. It will be community service hours only. And every ticket, the community service hours go up by four. So your second ticket is 24 hours, your third ticket is 28 hours, and so on. What about parents? If a parent gets a ticket, the same thing happens. They will get a letter from the court telling them to show up at 1.30 on a Friday afternoon. For parents, first ticket is $100, second ticket is $250, third ticket is $500. If a parent gets a fourth ticket, they're looking at possible jail time. That's how seriously California takes education. So why do we care? Education is the key to your future. Without a high school diploma, the military won't take you. Without a high school diploma, a four-year college won't take you. Without a diploma, many employers will not take you, or if they do, they will not promote you. I know this because for 20 years, I was a personnel manager. I hired only high school graduates. Why? Because if you can't even do something as easy as showing up for high school five days a week, why would I believe that you're going to show up for my job five days a week? Plus, every person that I hired was hired for the future. The hiring pool is my potential promotions, my potential, my potential increases in pay. What I'm looking for is if I have an opening for a supervisor, for a department head, for a manager, where do I look first? From employees that I already have. If you're already there, you're doing your job, you show up every day, you do what you're asked to do, you have a high probability of getting promoted. I don't want to have to go outside my company to hire unknown people. I would rather take people that are already there and doing the job and make them better. What else matters? Think about it this way. Athletes train their bodies. They do exercises. They do play plans. They get ready for their games or their tournaments or whatever they're involved in. They want their bodies to respond in the way they have to respond in competition. Life is a competition. Your brain is what gets you through life. The frontal cortex of your brain, the part right behind your forehead, is the part of the brain that controls reasoning. That part of the brain is the last part to develop and doesn't completely develop until you're in your 20s. Why is this important? Because you exercise your brain by going to school. Going to school isn't just about memorizing facts or formulas or taking tests. Going to school is exercising your brain. In order for your brain to reach its full potential, just like a muscle, it must be exercised. School is what does that. School prepares you for life. Now, sometimes I have people say to me, well, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to be a hairdresser. I'm just going to do nails. I'm just going to work construction. Well, think about this. Most of you are going to work 40 or 50 years after high school. Don't you want those years to be as productive as possible? If you do construction, who do you want to be? Do you want to be the guy who is told to lift that bundle of shingles and take it up a ladder to the third floor? Or do you want to be the guy who tells some other guy, pick up those shingles, go up the ladder to the third floor? If you're going to have your own business, like a hairdresser, who's going to do your marketing? Who's going to control your inventory? Who's going to fill out your legal forms for your licenses, for your tax forms? You are. You need to have your brain be the best possible shape it can be in order to accomplish all of this. Another thing to think about is most prisoners in prison had truancy as their first crime, and it went downhill from there because they had no options. Their brains didn't fully develop. They weren't capable of learning and doing other things. So think about that. We want you to be the best that you can be. School isn't just about learning. School is about developing your brain, the key ingredient for your future. All of you are going to have jobs, families, children. You want nice cars, nice homes, nice vacations. Nobody's going to hand that to you. You have to go out there and get it. And the better prepared you are, the more successful you will be. And I'm an example of that. My parents told me when I was in grade school, education is the key to your future. Well, I have lots of education. I have kindergarten through 12th grade. I have college. I have law school. I make a great living. I'm going to retire next year. And you know what? I'm going to be fine because I have a retirement from a personnel manager. I'll have a retirement from being a DA. I'm going to have a 401k savings plan. I'm going to have social security. 
my life will continue to go well after I retire because I have worked for that. I have planned for that. I have put my energies into that. You can do the same thing. Your life will turn out in whatever way you make it turn out. You have opportunities. Take advantage of those opportunities. Think about something else. How many things in your life will you have that can never be taken away? Your name is always your name. Your social security number is always your social security number. Your high school diploma is always your high school diploma. Those three things have never in the history of the world been taken away. Other things can be your car, your marriage, your job. All of those things can be taken away. Your insurance, your house can burn down. Lots of bad things can happen. But the key things that you have, your name, your social security number, your high school diploma are yours forever. Take advantage of that. Why do I care? Because like I said, I'm retiring. You, the students at Channel Islands, are my future. You are going to be my doctor. You are going to fix my computer. You are going to sell me my next car. You are my future. I want you to be the best that you can be. Why? Because I'm selfish. If you're not the best, that means I'm not going to get the best from you. That's why I care. Your future is my future. Make the best of it. Thank you. Upcoming events, Friday, October 14th, Homecoming Rally. <laughs> Saturday, October 15th, Homecoming Dance, 7 through 11 p.m. Wednesday, October 19th, PSAT. October 14th will not be a minimum day due to the two heat days last week. Now a message from CI Counseling. Hey guys, good morning, good morning. This is the counseling staff. We're finally made it on CI Live. It's been a busy beginning of the year. But we finally got a chance to come out here. We want to introduce ourselves because we've had some uh, major changes in the counseling department. So we're going we're gonna to make our rounds. We're going to say the, our names. We're going to say the academies we're aligned with. And we, again, we want to get to know you guys. So please come visit us. We're, we've been hitting the senior classrooms pretty hard these last couple of weeks. So the seniors have got to see us. But we want to make sure uh, the freshmen through juniors, you guys know who we are and the alignments. So my name is Mr. Cozen. I'm the avid counselor, and if your last name falls between Jan and Mara, you're, you're with me. And I'll let Ms. Sanchez introduce herself. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ms. Sanchez. I am here with UCSB Early Academic Outreach, and I help students uh, with everything that has to do with college. So many workshops will be coming up uh, to help students uh, prepare for college. Have a good day. Hi, good morning. I'm Ms. Garcia. I'm the guidance tech here. And if you guys ever need to make an appointment with your counselors, you guys can come see me. Right, I'm Mr. Lopez. I'm in charge of the EL students, or the new EL st students, and the migrant program, and as well the other special programs that we have on campus. Hi, I'm Ms. Schultz. I'm filling in for Shirley Fernandez, and she'll be back on Monday. My alpha is Fig through Jack, J-A-C, and also I'm with the MSA Academy. Good morning, Raiders. I'm Ms. Ariaga, and my part of the alpha is A through F-E-R-R. -R. I don't have an academy, but I am responsible for the ROP program. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Coria, and I'm aligned to BFA. Um, and also my alpha is M-A-R-C, so Marcial to Ramirez. I'm Mr. Lara, I'm aligned to the Transportation Academy, and my alpha is uh, Ramo to Z. So I have the end of the alpha. So now you know who we are. Come see us, come visit us. If you need to make an appointment, see Ms. Garcia. We're excited to get to know you this year. And one last note, if anybody, those seniors, if you're a TA or the office aide, we'll be meeting with you or I'll be meeting with you sometime this week to get you signed up online and registered so you can start doing your online work. So I'll be calling you in shortly. Don't forget to also follow us on Instagram and uh, join us on the Remind app. If you, if you don't know what those are, come and see your counselor so we could, uh, you can add those. Thank you. Sporting news. Tryouts for boys soccer will take place as follows. Freshmen, sophomores tryouts finish up today. Junior and senior tryouts this Wednesday the 5th and Thursday the 6th. Counseling news. CSU application workshops will be taking place this week, Wednesday, October 5th from 3rd to 4th and ML4. Seniors planning to take the SAT will be will need to prepare, please mark your calendars for the SAT Academy that will be taking, that will begin Saturday, October 8th from 8 to 12 
must see Mrs. Sanchez to sign up. At bookkeeper News, attention all seniors, the senior packages have been extended to October 31st, no further than that. It includes the ASB card, yearbook, grad night ticket, senior class sweatshirt, and class picture. The cost is $260. Don't miss out on a great deal. Want your photos shown on CI Live? Do you have any funny videos? Email them to CIPictureOfTheDay at gmo.com. That, that is, is all your news and <laughs> announcements for today. Have, have a, a great, great day, readers. <laughs>